Hey guys, today's video I'm really excited about. I just got a shipment of rainbow fish from Gary Lang. They're sitting right there. I'm gonna get the tripod set up and we're gonna unbox them and uh, see what I got. So stay tuned. All right, let's get this bad boy opened. Like I said, these are from Gary Lang. Personally collected and bred by him. He was kind enough to offer a group buy for the Greater Seattle Aquarium Society. So we got an, he offered him at an incredible discount, which was super nice of him. Great guy. So no, unfortunately, not all these are for me, but some of them are. Some of them will be donated to our big auction coming up next month. Here. These are Snapper Creek Rainbow Fish. I'll link the scientific name as always. Now they're just juveniles, so they're probably not going to have much color. Everyone's looking pretty good here. One really good sized one in there. Looks to be a male. These are shipped in breather bags, so no air in them. If you don't know how that works, it actually transfers oxygen and CO2 in and out of the bag. Looks like we got another good shipment here. Now, important to notice, if you ever get, you know, shrimp or fish, anything shipped to you in breather bags, you do not float them because they will suffocate. Uh, should be a couple more bags of them in here. I think I got a little over a 50, 50 of them. And again, another successful bag here. They all look just extremely healthy. Probably one more. If you don't know who Gary Lang is, you probably should, even if you don't know rainbow fish or don't care about rainbow fish. Because he is a stud. He goes out, personally collects, finds new species, recently had a fish named after him. Another good bag here. Oops. All right, so I'm gonna start getting these guys acclimated. So here you can see the drip acclimation. See the air bubbles going through there because I just started it. So basically how I do this is, this is just a standard, you know, hose tubing for your air pump. And up here I have the valve so I can control how much water goes through there. And you just basically start it like a, any siphon suck on the end down here it'll start I'm gonna slow this drip down a little bit and now we wait Right, guys it's been about a half hour still going with the drip but it should be good Gary recommended 30 to 40 minutes so I just grabbed a quick bite to eat changed into my scrubby fish clothes and I'm gonna start scooping them and putting them in the tank So it looks like everyone is doing good. I'll probably give them about an hour or two and then give them some food because they haven't eaten in a couple days. But I'm just gonna let them get adjusted a little bit longer before I throw some food in there. 
Now they are smaller than I thought they would be, so some are going to get sucked up in there. But that is perfectly alright because they won't make it out of the overflow. There are strainers in there that they will not fit through. So I'll be checking up there for pretty much once a day for the next month or two. Probably scoop at least once out. Once. Probably scoop one out every day or so. It happened with the black neons, tetras, before they got big enough to not get sucked in there. Getting some algae on the front glass, but whatever. So I'll probably chime in tomorrow when these have gotten some color. Oh man, just awesome. It's already schooling. A lot of people wonder where this tank is at. It is in my spare bedroom. I <laughs> ran out of room in the fish room, so slowly taking over the spare bedroom. Maybe pretty soon I'll have two fish rooms. Man, this is going to be an awesome tank. It'll probably take a year, but uh, it's going to be sweet. Alright, I'll chime in in, in uh in a day and we'll see what how they're looking so I just kind of want to take this opportunity to show off some of my other rainbows because I feel rainbows don't get enough love in the hobby and a fish that can look like this should get more love this is the Praycox rainbow as you uh, saw in a recent video I just got these guys wanted to shoot them again with a good camera these are also from Gary Lang. Does look like I did end up with a female or two, so that's good. And some algae on the front glass there, but what else is new? But they just kind of stay in here and school around, keep it a nice group. Of course the puffer is still doing well, he's waiting for me to drop some snails in for him, but I just did that about a half hour ago, so he's not getting more already. Here are more fish from Gary Lang, these are the Bozmani Rainbow. I'm going to get it to focus in on him, so he's got the real deep orange. And the hair algae. Big clump of star grass there. Even the females look great. You just don't see this in pet shops. Uh, farm bred fish. imagine what those snapper creek rainbows are going to look like once they get this size. We got one more species that I really don't show on camera that often. I did put them in my uh, room tour. I'm going to go look at those right now. They're not from Gary Lang but they're still pretty awesome. Uh, they're kind of rare so I was pretty happy to get them. So let's go take a look. And it's these guys here. These are the Glossolepis multisquamata. That's how I pronounce it. I don't care if it's wrong. You can correct me if you want, but that's just the way it is. Like I said, these are not from Gary Lang, but they're still looking really good. And I think I'd like to find out who or where they came from, but once I've had these for probably a year and a half growing out, I think that ship has sailed. We're really starting to get the nice rustic red coloring, the long fins, 
females have the nice uh, stripes on them. I lost a male the other day, I'm not sure why. But uh, everyone seems to be okay. I don't see any visual signs of stress or disease, so hopefully it was just a one-off type of deal. But I'd say in another year, these guys are going to look amazing. Kind of the reason you never see rainbows, because when you see them in fish shops, they're small and they're silver and they take a long time to color up. But this, these fish are going to be worth the wait. Another year, everybody's going to want to be like, whoa, what are those? Where do I get them? So let's go take, uh, let's go back and look at the Snapper Creek. It's been a day since I filmed them. They're still super happy. And uh, starting to color up. They're pretty small still. So let's go take a look. So here we are back a day later. As you can see, everyone's still doing just great. So far, none have been uh, sucked up into the overflow up there, so I'm pretty happy about that. A few of the larger ones are starting to get some color on them. But they move pretty dang fast, so it's kind of hard to focus on them. But you can kind of see they, they're going to get some reds and blues as they start to color up. going to be really sad to see a lot of these go. This weekend I'll be packing a lot of them up and handing them out throughout the club like I mentioned. Hopefully I can keep a good sized group but we'll see. Cherry barbs looking good as always. Do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything you want to see, just let me know. I know some people have been asking for an update video on the betta fish, the puffer fish, but you saw the puffer fish is doing great. The betta fish is doing great. I haven't decided on a name for either of them yet. I'm still kind of on the fence there. So let me know if you have any suggestions. Uh, also, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, share, all that jazz. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.